What's up guys so DK back with another video and this one this is a video that you guys have always asked for and now we're finally bringing it to you that's the studio tour the streaming the gaming setup and my collectibles this is the 2021 room tour I hope you guys enjoy the video all right so first before I show you guys the actual setup let's go ahead and show you the workstation this is brand new in my room this station here, we can just plug in our MacBook Pro and we can do short form content, which is a lot of what we do right now with TikTok and Instagram and YouTube uh, shorts, all of those things being so popular right now. We like to be able to do them on this station. Plus if my girlfriend wants to come in and also do some work, she can sit here while I stream and game over there and, and that works out perfect for us. All right, so another area of my room, this holds kind of like my driving setup. A lot of my PlayStation games, few gadgets and gizmos. Uh, also along the, the collectibles that I have, I also carry a lot of the boxes. I'm uh, notorious for not throwing away my boxes, especially when it comes to computer components or graphics cards. We just got in the 3070 Ti, and so I actually have that box laying over there too. But this is that area that kind of catch all. Also got a cool little candle, you know the vibes. All right guys, so this is the actual streaming and gaming setup. It is a dual PC setup and I'll run through all the specs and I'll also drop them in the description down below. So that way if you guys see anything and you wanna pick it up yourself, you can definitely check it out in the description. So normally before I start a long stream, I'll start with a gamer supplement. I just happened to pick up the Ghost Gamer. This one's Sour Patch Kids. The flavor is amazing using my Goku training cup. Uh, but we'll go ahead and uh, kick off the stream and I'll show you guys how it all operates and works. All right, so from here, we actually have a three monitor setup for the dual PC stream. My streaming PC is my left monitor. So when I wanna go ahead and go live, I'm gonna launch Streamlabs OBS. And then that way we'll power it up. Make sure everything's working first of all. So I wanna make sure my camera's working so you guys can see the angle right there. So then I'll turn on my Elgato lights. What's awesome about Elgato products is everything is controlled within the PC or on the stream deck. But I go ahead and just click that on. So that way we got the good lighting already and I can see myself once that's working, I can make sure my live screen is working. So this is when I'm playing. The gaming monitor is my first monitor, which is an LG. It's 144 Hertz. It's actually 2K resolution. So that's really great for if I wanna play games at a higher quality. So then I'll go back to my starting screen. Now over here is where I keep my gaming monitors. So the first one on the left, I'm gonna keep my Discord up. If you guys haven't already checked out the Discord, the Kill Fam, it's a really awesome place for everybody to come connect with me. So I'll usually have this up and then we'll come down here to the general tabs and that's where I'll start chatting with my teammates. The other thing that I'll keep up is my Go XLR. The Go XLR is actually the best device I feel like for streamers because it allows me to multi-channel all the volumes, the voices, all the sound effects of everything that I'm doing into the stream. And so that's just moved over there easily for me. So I'll leave that up as well. Then from there, once everything's already live, I'm gonna go usually launch Twitch, which I'm already got Twitch up. And I'm gonna go into my creator dashboard. I'll usually come up with like a catchy stream title so right now I have top 1% in the world if you don't count the US. What does 50 Cent do when he's hungry? That's my go live notification. So those of you in the chat, what does 50 Cent do when he's hungry? 58. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, it's, it's lame. So now we're gonna launch our favorite game, and that's Warzone. That's what we play a lot of. We just picked up the 3070 Ti from MSI. Now, some of you guys might frown upon this, but I play with a scuff controller. It's pretty much a normal scuff. The only thing I've done is added the military grade for the grippiness. I've also added digital tr triggers, which helps with the, uh, the, the fire rate, which is really awesome. 
So when I'm actually streaming and gaming to you guys, this is exactly what I'm seeing. I've got my Discord, I've got my game in front of me, and then I've got OBS, Streamlabs over there, and then the dual PCs are doing all of the lifting for me. Inside the PCs, I'll definitely drop the specs down below in the description. But the first, the gaming PC, we actually just picked this up from Corsair. This is the Vengeance pre-built PC. It did come with an original 3070, which is down there in the streaming PC. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. I did upgrade to a 3070 for the win Ultra, um, or for the win three from EVGA. Uh, that was in this gaming PC. I also only had 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RAM when I originally bought it. But the other thing that I loved about this PC is it came with the 5800X from Ryzen, which is an awesome gaming uh, CPU. But the other thing um, that's really great about it is it comes with the AIO from Corsair. Also comes with a lot of great stock memory. Um, but recently, we actually just added this the other day. This is the 3070 Ti from MSI, the Gaming Trio Edition. So that's just really cool. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I also have Gojo. That's from SH Figuarts. Gojo's holding it down in the gaming PC. So just really, really dope. This gaming PC, I mean, as far as pre-builds go, this is probably the cleanest and one of the best pre-builds out there. So if you guys can check it out, I'll drop that in the description as well. For the streaming PC, I actually built this. This is the first PC that I ever built. Um, and it is a beast. It has a Ryzen 3900X in it. It has over 64 gigabytes of RAM. Again, that's Corsair Vengeance, 3200 megahertz. It has a 3070. This is the 3070 that came with the gaming PC. Originally when I built my PC, I had a 2080 Super in it. I've added as many fans as possible because it does do all the heavy lifting and as much storage as I could fit into this bad boy. So just a really, really good PC. It's in the Liam Landcool 2 case, which I really, really like. Um, and I have pretty much put as much RGB as possible in this case. Plus I have Tanjiro and I have Nezkuchan. They're both holding it down in that PC case. As far as peripherals go, I have a few because I have two PCs and no, I don't do a switch. On the streaming PC, I have the Steel Series. I have that keyboard, which is a really good keyboard. I have, of course, my scuff controller. That's what I use for most of my gaming. And then I have the new Razer, uh, the new Razer keyboard. So this, this Razer keyboard, this is part of my gaming setup. Um, I have the Astro 840s for my headset. I also have the Stream Deck, which is really cool. As I'm streaming, I can go through all the different, um, all the different settings for my stream. I also have two mice. Uh, the first mouse is a Razer Viper Ultimate. This mouse is freaking fantastic. Absolutely love it. That's what I bought originally when I built my PC. And then I picked up the model. Uh, I believe this is the Model D from uh, Glorious. And I love this mouse. It's really, really light. I put that to the gaming PC. And of course, I already mentioned it, but the Go XLR. And then I also have some Bose speakers for whenever I don't want to wear headphones. Um, I talked about my microphone. It is the Shure SM7B, so nothing crazy here. That is definitely the streamer's mic of choice. I have the Elgato Key Light. Um, this is the Key Light Air, so that's the new one. And I really, really like that because it just sits right on my desk. And then lastly, for the streaming cameras, besides the one I'm filming with, this is my Sony a7 III. Definitely, definitely overkill for a streaming setup. I have a 50 millimeter lens. That's why I have to have it so far away from the streaming setup because it is so cropped in, but really, really great. Again, Elgato comes in clutch with all of these mounting bars. I can use this to extend the microphone and hold anything that I need. So really, really great. Overall, the other things in my room that make it a setup is I've got the LifeX beam. I think the lighting's really cool on that. I'm also using the Philips light. Um, these are the Philips light bars. So right down below here, it's gonna be hard to get that. Go ahead and show you guys around. So I just have the light bars behind the PCs and I have a couple around the room. And then of course I have my collection right here, which I'll show you guys all clips of that in the B-roll. Lastly, we gotta talk about the chair. I am using a Herman Miller chair. I totally copped this from my girlfriend. 
because she's been working from home, her work let her bring her chair home from the office. And that's what I have actually stole to uh, do all my streaming in, which is really, really cool. So that's gonna do it for the entire video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys really, really love the streaming and gaming setup. Continue to support my content creation. Thank you guys so much. If you guys haven't subscribed by now, and if you enjoyed this video, definitely like, hit share, because I'd love to get this content out to more people. And thank you as always. I hope you guys catch you in the next video. Bye y'all.